Ay, madre. Hello, hello. Oh my God. Hello. Otra vez. Hi, <laughs> class. Hello, Miss. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Again. The same teacher, I know this in class. Oh, but I'm no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, class, I'm really happy to see you. Wow, qué bueno verlos nuevamente. ¿Cuánto ha sido? ¿Hace cuánto nos, no nos vemos? ¿Un mes? ¿Será? Un mes. ¿Cómo te se va? No, yo creo que ha sido más. Más. Sí, creo, no, no recuerdo muy bien. Creo que estábamos semanas después de vacación o antes de vacación, algo así. Después. ¿verdad? April 25. Wow, sí, abril. Oh, pues sí, cada un mes. Un mes, hey, yes. ¿no? Imagínate. ¿Cómo han estado? How is it going? ¿Cómo estuvo esta pausa? ¿Practicaron? Did you practice your English? Yes. Oh, oh. Thinker, right? Okay, so, yeah, as I mentioned before, I'm really happy to see you Teacher. guys. Tell me. Hello, Ellen Nilsson. Hello. I'm back. Regresé. Ya la extrañaba. Uh, thank you so much for saying that, you know, same here, same here, lo mismo acá, los extrañaba bastante, es un gusto volver a verlos, clase, ya estamos en pre-intermedio, right, so no more basic, ya olvidémonos del basic, Qué bien, lo han hecho muy bien, creo que estamos listos ya para un nuevo nivel, eh, last time, la última vez que nos despedimos, eh, Estábamos finalizando, si no mal recuerdo, con eh, el uso de los verbos en pasado, right? Simple past, regular and irregular verbs. You see, I still remember. Aún recuerdo todavía el tema que estábamos viendo. So, time to start right now. Here we go. So, eh, miren, ahorita estamos ya iniciando el pre-intermedio. Eh, como bien su nombre lo dice, es para prepararnos ya a ir a un intermedio full. Pero creo que su nivel estamos muy bien. Vamos a tener este curso de preintermedio en donde empezamos siempre haciendo como un repaso. Si hay vocabulario, cosas que hemos olvidado, empezamos haciendo un repaso para que ustedes puedan otra vez meternos de lleno a... El inglés 100%, ¿ok? That is my idea. Bajarle un poquito al nivel de español para que ustedes vayan otra vez retomando esa costumbre. Escuchar simplemente inglés. Igual, participar inglés, ¿verdad? Para que podamos eh, meternos ya en el contenido. Bien, aquí estamos. So let me ask you, let me ask you, class, eh, ¿cómo estamos con la plataforma? ¿Hemos podido ingresar a la plataforma? ¿Tenemos el material para este curso? En este caso, el manual del estudiante, ¿sí lo tenemos? Necesito saber eso antes para, para poder continuar. Yes. ¿Todos tienen el manual, acceso a la plataforma? Yes. Yes. Muy bien. Yes. Ok. No olviden cualquier inconveniente con plataforma. Hello. Pueden... ¿Cuál es el manual? El manual del estudiante siempre se les proporciona. Me imagino que se los envían a ustedes por correo electrónico. ¿Es así? No sé cuál es el manual. ¿Alguien sabe cuál es el manual? El libro del estudiante. No, nunca nos han dado eso. Nunca les han dado. No se refiere solo al enlace que nos envían para no, entrar a la no, plataforma. No, no, no eh, nunca nos han dado, nunca nunca nos han dado manual. 
No. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> es bueno saberlo porque fíjense que todo el contenido que desarrollamos aquí en el curso lo tomo en mi caso de eh, el libro, el libro que utilizamos. Entonces hay una versión del libro de estudiante y la versión que yo tengo en digital es lo mismo, libro de estudiante. Entonces, porque muchos ejercicios los tomo de ahí, por eso les preguntaba si ustedes tienen el mismo manual para poder hacer referencia en qué página estamos trabajando o qué ejercicio y qué unidad desarrollamos en la clase. Perdón, solo para quedar claro, es sí. un documento en PDF. Es, el, el, es un el, PDF, PDF. Ah, sí. fue el primero que no, solo una vez nos lo mandaron nomás cuando empezamos. Solo una vez. Ya de ahí ya no recibimos nada. Y tenemos el manual educativo principiante 1. ¿no? Ajá, ese cabal. Principiante 1, pero ahí creo que eso ya finalizó. Son 16 unidades. Este sería un nuevo ya manual que necesitarían. Voy a consultar. Es bueno consultar esto con ustedes para expresar eso con la academia. Si es que les van a dar un nuevo manual. Para que ustedes puedan ir repasando también en casa. Contenido que vemos. Ustedes también pues puedan tomar su tiempo fin de semana o cuando tengan un tiempo libre para poder repasar el contenido. Pero si no, recuerden, no se preocupen, tenemos también el contenido de plataforma habilitado 24-7. Pero en caso necesiten material extra, voy a, a preguntar si es que no hay manual, porque creería que, que sí, tiene que haber. Casi siempre se ve en la plataforma. Pero si no, okay. vamos a consultar. Les muestro. Let me show you. Where. Este es el... Sí, es que estaba revisando la plataforma ahora en su curso y no lo vi. Por eso me imaginé que se los enviaban, pero no. Este es el curso 1. Y en la parte superior, si se fijan, aquí dice Students Manual 1. Pero con su curso no lo pude visualizar. Así que voy a consultar qué habrá pasado, ¿ok? So, let's start right now with the class. It's really nice to see you again. Whose birthday was it? Whose birthday is it? I can see some balloons. In a, who's, who is, who's is it? Rita. It's Rita. Rita, really? When was it? When was your birthday? <laughs> On Saturday. Wow, so let me express and let me tell you congratulations, you know. I really hope you have had a great birthday celebration. So class, let's start right now with this class. As we already know each other, you already know the teacher. We are just going to proceed by doing this first activity. Look, if you remember in the previous class, I was the one who gave you the rules for the class. But this time, it is not only the teacher who is going to give the class's rules. You are going to help me to establish the rules for the class. Right, why? Because in that way, I can listen to your ideas, I can listen to your proposals, And you can also contribute to this rule. So let me show you the previous class or the previous course rules. So maybe you want to keep the same rules, but you also want to include some others. Look, these were my rules or the class's rules. They were course anterior, las que yo establecí, right? Keep the cameras on all the time, speak English, participate, be on time in every class, uh, mute your microphone if you are not going to participate, help each other and ask for help. But these are the rules that I am giving you. So let me ask you, do you want to include some other rules in the class? Or do you want me to take one of these rules off? I want to listen to you. Quiero escucharlos. ¿Mantenemos estas mismas reglas? ¿Quieren agregar otra? Para que sea un acuerdo entre todos, ¿ok? Que no sea yo quien diga, eso es lo que se va a hacer. No, que sea algo que todos estemos de acuerdo para que eh, puedan ser al final eh, 
cosas que no sean como una imposición, sino que, que todos estemos de acuerdo. ¿Ok? Let me listen to you. ¿Estamos bien con las reglas? ¿Algo más que quieran agregar? ¿O algo que no haya incluido? Yes. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Ok. Um, for me, it's ok. For no you, problem. it's ok. Very yes. good. So, for Gabby, it's ok. How about the other ones? Okay. It's okay. Very good. It's Nada okay. Más. Okay. It's the okay. same rules. Same rules. That's it. So if you are in agreement with these rules, for me it's okay, you know? Because last time, the last course, we didn't have problem at all. You were doing a great job and I didn't have to include any other rule, right? Because uh, I know this is a great group. So I didn't have problem, you know, and a scolding. ¿Saben qué es scolding? Castigando, regañando a alguien de la clase. No. Lo que más me impresionó siempre es que están muy puntuales. Muy puntuales en clase. Eso me encanta. ¿okay? Y que pudimos incluso finalizar el curso justo el día que dijimos. Porque ustedes están pendientes de actividades de plataforma. Así que. Aquí estamos. Let me read again the rules from the class so you can remember them. You know, in every class, from class number one up to class number 16, we are going to keep the cameras on all the time. In case that you have problems with your cameras, please let me know. Tell me, teacher, you know, I'm having problems with my camera, but please justify, give me a reason, right? Siempre justificando. Si hay problema con la cámara, justifiquemos, ¿ok? Speak English, try to speak English. But in case that you need... Pero solo solo un cámara. detalle con lo de las cámaras. Nosotros casi la mayoría lo tenemos en el, al teléfono y de pronto de trabajo cae una llamada, pues eh, nos, salí, nos eh, desconectamos, ¿verdad? Solo yeah, para I que know. esté uh -huh. enterada. Ok, y también dejo de compartir. Eh, cuando estamos trabajando en grupos... Si ustedes comparten desde su dispositivo o teléfono, muchas veces sé que se apaga la cámara, pero es automático, ¿ok? Pero esos son casos justificados. Les digo eso porque eh, si llega a ser auditada nuestra clase, tiene que haber como una justificación. Ah, queda grabado, sí, el alumno expresó que estaba teniendo problemas, ¿ok? No es que de su parte no quieran eh, como colaborar con, con esa regla, ¿ok? De, entender, de encender las cámaras. Más que todo es por eso, ¿ok? Pero si no es entendible, gracias por también aclarar eso. Que quede también aquí evidencia que es lo que pasa. Bien, participate. I know that everybody likes to participate. You are always on time in every class. With your microphone, we don't have trouble with that, you know? Any issue with your microphone, right? And we also help each other and we ask for help. So now, let me listen to you. I really need to know what are your goals for this course? What are your expectations? At the end of this course, what do you want to know? Or what do you want to be able to do at the end of this course? At least what? ¿Qué quieren ser capaces de hacer al final de este curso? ¿Cuál es su compromiso con ustedes mismos? Al finalizar el curso. Let me listen to you. I'm going to give you one minute so you can think about at least one goal. Por lo menos una meta que se pongan va a estar perfecto. One minute. Un minuto para pensar. And then we can share with the classmates. Okay? So think about the goals. I can give you some ideas, you know. For example, uh, for this course, I want to practice my English a lot. I don't want to use my Spanish in this class. Or I want to learn new vocabulary and to use the vocabulary 
during the class or with my friends and with my family. I want to um, complete the exercises from the platform before the courses finished. You know? Son unas ideas. ¿Qué tipo de metas podemos ponernos para cumplirlas al finalizar este curso? Okay? So those are my ideas. Very good job. Let me know once you're ready. Say, teacher, I'm ready. Okay? Yes, Carlos. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, and yeah, my day is uh, practice English every day. Very and good. And speak with, with other partner or agents in the world. And the practice and write and speak intense, intensively. Okay, excellent. The practice right. is English. That's okay, and I really like it, you know? So I know you're going to be able to do all of those goals at the end of this course, I know. So class, let me listen to you. Carlos, the first one, excellent. Let me listen to Lorena, yes, Lorena. Participate, um, practice more. Creo que eso es como más. Yeah, to participate during the class and practice more, not only in the class, right? But outside of the class, right? Very good job. Who else is ready? Who's ready? Okay, Jorge and then Rita. <laughs> That's okay. I want to have the best pronunciation. Very good. And more vocabulary. And more vocabulary. Excellent. How about you, Rita? Yeah, learning in general more English. Uh, uh, less than 20% uh, okay. speak in this course. Uh -huh. um, uh, read it and write it. Okay, very good. Uh huh. And then the hours is necessary uh, to write very well. Very by good. Mm -hmm. Our the agent. agent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what you want to do. I know you can do it at the end. Very good job. The same as Jorge. I know you're going to be able to learn more vocabulary and to practice a lot. Excellent. So let me see. Who's missing? Hello, teacher. Go ahead, please. Um, I want to learn new vocabulary and improve my speaking. Very good. And practice English more. And to practice more. Very good job. To improve your speaking skill. Excellent. Yes. No more volunteers, so I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna call you by your names. Come on, class, don't be afraid. You say, teacher, I want to participate. I really want to. Alberto, go ahead, please. Okay, teacher. After we finish the class, uh, I have gold is I would like to practice and speak English with my friends in the in the agents in the world. Okay. Additional, I wish to travel in the other countries. Wow. Uh, it's important. <laughs> yes, right. Yes, of course, you can practice your English with friends as well. Very good job. I really like your goals. I know you're going Teacher. to travel. Yes. Tell okay. me. Teacher. Go ahead, Jorge. ¿Cómo se dice llévame? Llévame, Alberto. Take me. We can use the uh, the the bird take. Take me with you. 
Take, take me. me. <laughs> take me with you. Yes, right. Alberto is gonna take us. No va a llevar bien. Muy bien. So, yeah. Jorge, go ahead, please. <laughs> yes. Come on, class. We only have five minutes to do this. Okay. Gustavo, go ahead, please. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Um... <laughs> Come on. What are your goals for this course? Uh, I learn uh, more English, the pronunciation. Okay. I I I take more uh, serious in the class. Oh, okay. I um, <laughs> solamente. <laughs> That's it. Very good job, Ellen Nilsson, Go ahead, please, and then Ivania. Hello, teacher. Hi, let me listen to you. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, of course, you can. So let me have Ivania and then Ellen Nilsson, please. Okay, I I want to speak in English during the class, and I want to have an English conversation with another people. Excellent, excellent. I like it. I know you're going to be able to do to do it. Go ahead, please, Ellen Nilsson. Yes, teacher. I want to learn English uh, for express myself fluently with anyone who speaks the English language. Excellent. And sing songs yeah. that I knew very young. Okay. I like it, you know. You can have fun singing songs that you already know. And at the same time, to practice your English. I really like your goal. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Ruth and then Glenda. Are you ready, Ruth? I guess she's not. Glenda, please. Okay, I want to read my emails without the translator. Oh, traductor? Yes, translator, excellent. Okay, um, based on that, um, I want to talk and understand English very well. Wow, I really like that, you know, Glenda? That is a very nice goal. I like it to be able to read the emails without using the translator. I like it, excellent job. So who is missing? Let me see. Josue, right? Samuel, Samuel. Samuel, no, Josue, is, Josue and Samuel, right? Yes. Hello, teacher. Hi, go ahead, please. And Beer pronunciation. Okay. That's it. Mm. Very good. So improve. 
pronunciation. I like it, okay? I know you're going to do it. So, Samuel. Hello. Um, I don't know. You don't know? Okay. <laughs> so maybe you want to express that in Spanish and we are going to help you, you know, how to say that in English. ¿Cuáles son las metas de Samuel para el final del curso? Ah. Yes. Entender un poco más cuando me, me, lo, me lo están hablando, aunque sea mm -hmm. despacio, porque eso es lo que me cuesta. Ah, ok. Interesting. Entenderlo. To understand mm -hmm. more. I Ajá, like busco traducirlo. Bien. Entonces ahí me confundo. Mm, ok. Tal vez una buena meta sería no tratar de pensar tanto en español. Ok. Mm -hmm. Si no... Pensar un poco más de en inglés. Right. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Janira, are you ready? Hi, teacher. Hi, go ahead. Uh, um, um, speak a little English. Okay. And being able to have a conversation. Very good job. I really like it. I know you're going to be able to. So... Who is missing? I guess Ruth and Ellen Nilsson. That's it. Oh. Right. So let me listen to you guys. Spanish. <laughs> okay, try and then we, we can translate that in English. Go ahead, Ruth. Eh, llegar a entender bien el, el inglés. Bien. Eh, porque me cuesta, ¿verdad? Bien. Mucho. Eh, y entenderlo, escribirlo, poderlo escribir a la perfección. Better. Okay, muy bien, muy bien. Estamos bien. Ellen Nilsson, igual, si no podemos expresarnos en inglés, tratemos de hacerlo primero en inglés, sure. si no, pues en Spanish. Yes, Ellen Nilsson. Okay, eh, trataré de decirlo en inglés. Okay, please. I like okay. it. I really like that. Yes. Speak English with my friend. Yes. Eh, put attention in class. Okay. Eh, practice <laughs> more English. Okay, me gustó la segunda, ¿y usted? To pay attention in class, ¿qué significa? Yes. Que se me distraen. Yo sé que no es su culpa, ¿ok? Sé que están en trabajo, que a veces una llamada puede desconectarnos totalmente de la clase, ¿no les pasa? Hoy estoy pensando, hoy oh, tengo que entregar esto y yo aquí en clase y quisiera estar en mi trabajo haciéndolo, adelantándolo. Yo sé, I know. Yo sé, chicos. Pero eh, tratemos de lo más que podamos, ¿ok? Una hora, una hora. Créanme que esto les va a ayudar muchísimo. Lo más importante para mí es la disposición de ustedes. Si ustedes están dispuestos a mejorar su inglés, ustedes mismos lo van a hacer porque no es lo mismo que los obliguen a estar en una clase de inglés. Como eh, los niños en la escuela, en el colegio, ¿por qué no les gusta? Porque los obligan. Aparte, caso aparte, es la motivación. Si yo estoy motivada, que quiero aprender inglés, se va a hacer mucho más fácil el proceso, ¿ok? So don't worry, no se sientan que yo no entiendo, yo sé que me captan por lo menos el 90%, algunos el 100%, pero si no entienden, pregunten, no hay problema. Teacher, no entendí, I didn't get it. Trato de explicarlo más lento o explicarlo de otra manera o incluso si en serio siento que no se capta la idea, meto español, aunque no es lo ideal, ¿ok? But let's do it, okay? Bien, clases. So, nobody's missing, right? Creo que nadie falta. If not, let's go with the first topic, you know? First topic, it's very easy. I know you already know this information because it's about to introduce yourself. That is the first topic, introduce yourself. But we're going to do this type of exercise in a different way. So let me show you. Let's go to the platform. We're going to listen to the correct pronunciation and then we are going to practice. Here we go. Look. Ya vamos por acá, miren, pre-intermedio, módulo uno. So this is your course. Let's find out what do we have here.
Remember that this week we are going to cover section number one and section number two for this week. So the name of the section is, please call me Beth. Please call me Beth. So this is the first topic for today. And we're going to have two topics. Bear to be and possessive additives. So in case that you don't remember my name, here it is again, teacher Carmen Elena Argueta. But you can call me Elena Argueta. Very good job. Let's see, let's find out about the pronunciation. If you go, the first exercise that we have in section number one is about a conversation. Here we go. Where are you from? Let's go, let's listen to the conversation and then let's practice. Here we go. Hello, pre-intermediate course. This is section one. Please call me Beth. In this lesson, participants will learn how to introduce themselves and others by listening to a conversation between two people who just met and are introducing each other. Hi everyone, welcome to this class. We'll learn how to introduce ourselves and others. For you to learn how to do so, you need to listen to the following audio program Remember that you may listen to the audio as many times as you need to, and don't forget to practice it as well. Let's pay attention. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Son He is here. Who's Son He? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. -A. Very good. So that is the conversation that we are going to practice today. So look. Let me ask you first, what are these people doing right now? What are they doing? ¿Qué están haciendo? What are these people doing at this moment? Look at this picture and they tell me. They are in the party. party. The group, they, they, are party. they are in a party. Exactly. And meeting, uh, okay, and very good. We can say, they are in a party, or we can also say they are in a meeting, in una reunión, right? This is a meeting, the same. So what is this party about? ¿De qué es esta fiesta? What is this party about? It's international club. Uh -huh. That they are members of the international club. That is what they are celebrating. So we are going to divide this conversation in two parts. This is going to be the first part and we are going to have the second part here. Primera parte, segunda parte. Yeah. So if you see, exactly, we have David and we have Beth in the first part of the conversation. Listen to the conversation first. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. So look at this expression. The expression, so, is Brazil. What is the meaning of this? So is. So is Brazil. What is that? Mm -hmm. If you see, we have this comment. Mexico, it's really beautiful. So is Brazil. So what is the meaning of 
Sao is Brazil. ¿Qué significará so is? ¿Cómo es Brasil? Así es Brasil. Mm, no, you're Así very close. Es, es. Muy so, cerca. Teacher, so no es... Entonces, Así es. Así es Brasil. ¿no? Not really. Les regreso otra vez la información. Miren. Oh, I love Mexico. Beth, miren la conversación anterior. Beth, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful, dice ella. ¿Qué dice David? Thanks. So is Brazil. Igual que Brasil. Bien. Igual. Este caso significa igual. You know, El Salvador, it's a really beautiful country. Oh, so is Brazil. Okay. Panama, it's a great country. So is El Salvador. No. No? Okay. So that is just an example. No, right? So is Brazil. So that is the meaning. También lo es Brasil. Vean. Okay. Otra forma de expresar. Okay. So is. También es. So en este contexto es también. So look at the conversation. Introduction. Hello. My name is. Or we can also say I am. In English, we have two different ways of introducing. We can say, my name is, but this is too basic, muy básico. Podemos también decir, I'm, and then you mention your name. Right. Depende de ustedes. Lo más básico es, my name is Elena Argueta, but you can also sound, sound more professional, I'm. Hey, I'm Elena Argueta, you see? So, hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me, please call me. And then you can also say your nickname or the short form of your name. Okay, please call me, pero también puede llamarme, not Elizabeth, you can call me. Beth, that is a nickname, yes. Miss, in English, how do you say conocido como? O apodo? Nickname. No conocido como, o mejor digamos nickname. But my nickname, mi apodo. Nickname. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Puedes llamarme, you can call me. Okay, that's it. Right. My name is Elena Argueta, but you can call me teacher. You can call me Elena. You can call me Miss. You see? Ven la comparación. Tú puedes llamarme. Excellent. So let's practice. But this time I want you to replace the information from this conversation and give me your information. Okay? No quiero esta información, quiero la de ustedes. Veamos, practiquemos con Carlos. Carlos, vámonos con la primera parte de la conversation. Y luego vamos con el resto. Esa es la primera parte. Here we go. Con mi nombre real o con el de David. Your real name, please. Empieza Carlos, okay. vamos. Hello, I am Carlos Barrera. I am new club member. Hi, my name is Elena Argueta. But please call me Elena. Okay. Where are you from, Elena? Um, Brazil. How about you? Uh, I am from El Salvador, Central America. Oh, I love El Salvador. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Salvador. <laughs> no, but I'm from Brazil. So is. Uh, so, so is. Ajá, muy bien. Si se fijan, estamos regresando el comentario. Ah, también es Brasil. Oh, tu país también es bonito. Algo así sería. Porque yo ya dije, oh, I love El Salvador. It's really beautiful. Regresamos entonces el cumplido. Ok, so, thanks, Brasil. Yeah. Muy bien, yeah. excellent. Let me see, Jorge. Jorge. Empieza Jorge, please. Ok. Hello. I am Jorge Orantes. I am a new club member. Hi, my name is Elena Argueta. 
Oh, please... where are you from? Ok, wait, wait. <laughs> Se me olvidó la segunda parte, ¿verdad? But please call me uh, L. <laughs> Okay, where are you from? Elena? I'm um Russia. How about you? Uh, I am from Australia. Oh, I love Australia. It's really beautiful. Dance. So is Russia. Oh, excellent. Muy bien. Muy bien. Okay, na que Rusia, Australia. Excellent. Alberto, go ahead, please. Hey teacher. Hello, I am Alberto Dominguez. I am new club member. Hi, my name is Elena Argueta, but please call me Elena. Okay. Where are you from, Elena? Uh, Costa Rica. How about you? I am from Spain. Oh, I love Spain. It's really beautiful. That's uh, is Costa Rica. Excellent. Very good job. <laughs> You see, we're doing a great job. Janira, go please. Your microphone, there we go. Hello, I'm, I'm Janira Mejia. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elena Argueta, but please call me Elena. Okay, where are you from, Elena? Um, in United States, how about you? I'm from uh, Guatemala. Oh, I love Guatemala. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is United States. Great job. Ellen Nilsson, are you ready? <laughs> Let's practice. Hello. I'm Ellen Nilsson Avila. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elena Argueta, but please call me Elena. Okay, where are you from, Elena? Brazil, how about you? I'm from Guatemala. Oh, I love Guatemala, it's really beautiful. Thanks, so is Brazil. Great job. Let me see, Ruth. It's your time to practice. Okay. Hello, I am Ruth Miranda. I am a new club member. Hi, my name is Elena Argueta, but please call me Elena. Okay. Where are you from, Elena? Uruguay. How about you? I am from USA. Oh, I love United States. It's really beautiful. Uh, thank you. So is Guatemala. Okay, Guatemala. Why Guatemala? De donde dije que era, chicos? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Active listening. Uh, uh. De donde dije? Then, uh, Uruguay. 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 Uruguay, yes. Then active listen. No, don't worry, don't worry. So, so is? Uh, what? ¿Cuál sería el comentario que hacemos de Uruguay? Uh, uh, okay, tranquila, tranquila. Beautiful. Ajá, aquí está. So is? Thank you. Aquí está. So Muy bien, thanks. thanks. So is Uruguay. Muy bien, también es Uruguay. Perfecto, Glenda. Let's practice, please. Go. Hello, I am Glenda Gallardo. I am a new club member. Hi, my name is Elena Argueta, but please call me Elena. Okay, where are you from, Elena? I'm from Mexico. Um, how about you? I am from Panama. Oh, I love Panama. It's really beautiful. Thank. Se me olvidó. Su país. Ajá. Me dio. No. Que le dije clase. What did I say? Se me olvidó de dónde es. 
¿Quién le ayuda? Who can help her? ¿Qué país dije? Chile. No, Chile. México. <risa> ok. México. Yo sí, bueno. Algo que, Panamá sí, y México. Uh -huh. Algo que sí es, eh, imagínense si nos pasa en la vida real. ¿Qué creen? ¿Nos veríamos en serios problemas o no? Así como, ¿qué me dijo what did she say? So active listening. Tenemos que estar pendientes de la conversación que estamos teniendo con la otra persona. Porque en you mi caso, put attention. Ajá, nuestro compromiso número uno se nos olvida. No, right, no. Esto es en general para todos, right? So don't worry. Si no se acuerdan, podemos preguntar de nuevo. ¿Cómo me preguntarían entonces cuál era mi país? De una forma que no sepa la otra persona que no le preste atención. What was your country again? Miren esto. Extra information. Si no se acuerdan qué nombre le dijo. What was your name again? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo era tu nombre? Y no se ve, no se siente como se me olvidó tu nombre. No. What was your country again? Anótenlo, por favor. ¿Cómo era, cuál era tu país? ¿Cómo era tu nombre? Imagínense que nos volvemos a encontrar dos semanas después y yo no me acuerdo de tu apellido, ni siquiera de tu nombre. Ah, usemos esto. What was your name again? Ajá, y la persona responde sin darse cuenta que a mí se me olvidó, right? What was your name again? What was your country again? Very useful expression. Usémosla. Para eh, pedir que la persona repita la información. Ok, how about, ¿qué si me dieron el número de teléfono y no lo entendí? ¿Cómo le preguntamos? How do we ask? What was your cell phone What number? Ah, your... okay. Puede ser phone number o cell phone number. Phone number. Phone number again. Again, repítelo de nuevo. Eso significa. Me dieron su correo. No le entendí cómo era su correo. ¿Cómo pido el correo de nuevo? What was your email address again? Bien. What was your email address again? No hay problema en volver a preguntar, no. Solo sepamos cómo hacerlo. Right. Yes. Now it's clear. Muy bien. So, if you see, hemos practicado muy bien, but we have the second part. Con los que me faltan, practiquemos the second part. La segunda parte, if you see, now they are having a different conversation. Ya se presentaron. Beth le dice, oh, good, son he is here. Who's son he? She's my classmate. We are in the same math class. Where is she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? No, actually it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. Aquí está la pregunta, miren. What's your last name again? Aquí está lo que acabamos de aprender. Y podemos decir García. So, when we are talking about somebody else, in this case we are talking about this girl. Son he. Reemplacemos son he porque es muy difícil ese nombre. Give me a name. Deme un nombre en Spanish, English. I don't know. Any type of names of girls. Alicia Anaya. <laughs> Ajá, who is Alicia? Bien, Alicia. José Alicia. Oh, good. Alicia is here. Who is Alicia? She's my classmate. We are in the same math class. Y luego seguimos con toda la información. Otra vez, Beth y David. Let me see. Let's try with Lorena. Go ahead, please. Veamos si podemos, Lore. Go. Inicio yo, ¿ok? 
Oh, okay. good. Alicia is here. Wolves, wolves song here. Sería song here or Alicia? Ay, perdón, si, si cambiamos el nombre. Yes, song here. No yes. Eh, One more time. Who's, who's Alicia? She is my classmate. We are in the same math class. Where is she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry. What's your last name again? Garcia? Uh, actually, sería así. Sí, el, su, su apellido Borja. Sí. Uh -huh. Garcia? Actually? Uh, actually, it's Borjas. How do you spell that? B O R J A S. Excelente. Okay. Vamos a reemplazar García por su apellido. Okay. Reemplazamos Song He por Alicia. Muy bien. Veamos. Who do I have here? Gustavo. Go ahead, please. I'm going to start. Oh, good. Alicia is here. Oh, is Alicia? She's my classmate. We are in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again, Garcia? Uh, actually, is Garza. So you are Gustavo Garza. Oh, oh. Gustavo Alvarez. Oh, Alvarez. How do you spell that? Uh, a L B A R E C. Sí, excellent. Muy bien. Actually, what is the meaning of actually? Who can <laughs> tell me? Deme un sinónimo para actually. Great job, Gustavo. Yes. Uh -huh. actually. actually, no es actualmente. No. Nope. So what is the meaning of actually in English? In this moment, teacher. Mm, no, no se refiere no. a tiempo, no. Veamos Realmente. el contexto. Ah, Realmente. muy bien, muy bien. Actually, en realidad es, realmente es. Si se fijan, eh, ¿cómo era tu apellido de nuevo, García? Realmente es Garza, dice ahí. So, no confundamos actually con actualmente, no. Es en realidad, realmente. Right. Bien. Let's continue. Samuel. Let's practice with Samuel. Oh, Hello. good. Alicia is here. Who is Alicia? She's my classmate. We are in the same math class. Where is she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again, Garcia? Actually, it's Martina. How do you spell that? N-R-T-E-N-A-Z. Uh, Okay, Martinez. So let me stop sharing. Very good job. Okay, Samuel, excellent. Que, are we able to do this? Será que somos capaces de hacer esto sin ver la pantalla? Who wants to try? ¿Quién quiere probar? If you see, nos presentamos y solo deletreamos nuestro apellido. Nobody. There we go. Go, Alberto. Muy bien. Alberto va a salvar al grupo. Okay? Si no, no nos íbamos. Nah, all right. There we go. Vamos, Alberto. Hello. Let's go, teacher. Hello, teacher. Okay. okay. My name is Alberto Domínguez. Um, ¿Qué más? 
I am from El Salvador. And you? Hi, my name is Elena Argueta, but please call me Elena. Okay, you... Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Me puedes decir? No, preguntamos okay. el país. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Where are you from? I'm from El Salvador. Um, right. El Salvador is beautiful. And where are you from? I am from eh, Honduras. Oh, I love Honduras. It's really beautiful. Mm. So, Honduras. No, so, so it's El Salvador. So El Salvador. I'm from too. El Salvador, yes. Ah, so El Salvador too. Okay. Oh, good. Uh, here is my friend Alicia. Who is Alicia? She is my classmate. We are in the same English class. Mm -hmm. Where is uh, his last name of oh, Asira? No, where is she from? Where is she from? Mm -hmm. Korea. Let's go and say hello. Uh, sorry, what was your last name again, Garcia? Doming it, uh, no, it's actually it's Dominguez. Ah, and how do you spell that? It's D O M I N G U E Z. Great job. You see, you see. Rita, I know you want to practice, Rita. I can see that smile that you want to practice. Why Let's me? See. I don't know. I know you, you can do it. Si se fijan qué tipo de información estamos preguntando. The name, the country. Uh, decimos un comentario del país. Luego hablamos de otra persona. En este caso hablamos de Alicia, right? Y así va la conversación. Al final les pido deletrear. Veamos si podemos, Rita. Here okay. we go. You can start now. Hello, I'm... Rita, uh, call me uh, Rita, the same. Ah, okay, and where are you from, Rita? Uh, from El Salvador. I'm from Mexico. I, I forget, uh, it's, it's beautiful, uh, Me Mexico. Oh, so is El Salvador. <laughs> oh, good. Um, Alicia is here. I, is it, who is Alicia? Oh, she's my classmate. We are in the same math class. Where is she from? Ah, where is she from? Where is she from? She's from Korea. Let's go and say hello. Uh, sorry. What's your ah, last name again? García. Uh, actually, Velázquez. Ah, uh, it's very long. <laughs> Velázquez. <laughs> and how do you spell that? V E L A S Q U E uh, C C <laughs> So, your job for tomorrow is to practice spell. No, excellent, Rita. For the class, right? For the whole class to practice okay. your last name. How do you spell your name and your last name? So we still have two minutes. Let me show you this. Les muestro esto. In English, it is very important to know how to spell, in this case, the last name, the name, but also to give extra information. So this is the first activity for tomorrow. I want you to identify this information, your first and last name. You can call me. And there you are going to give one of your names or a nickname. You are going to express your country, the place where you live. For example, I am from El Salvador. I live in San Salvador. And then the nationality. Okay, I am Salvadorian. So with this information, we can give people more. Okay, suena redundante, más información de nosotros, okay? 
En caso, imagínense que conocen a alguien por primera vez, es el tipo de información que necesitamos presentar. Right. Questions about this exercise. Preguntas del ejercicio de ahora. ¿Cómo lo sintieron? How was it? Yes. Hey, excelente. Muy bien. Gracias por compartir eso. Si se fijaron, volvimos a retomar temas básicos, pero es necesario saber manejar. ¿Ok? Porque es información básica. Presentarme, preguntar sobre alguien más. En este caso preguntamos sobre Alicia, right? Preguntamos de dónde es ella, quién es Alicia, de qué país es. Información básica. So class. Questions, preguntas. No? If not, we are going to stop the class here and we are going to continue tomorrow. Okay. Nos vemos cuando. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. So, bye bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.